the Meta. The, the Metaverse. More than two dozen states have sued Meta over allegations that its social media platforms can be addicting and violate consumer protection and child safety laws. 41 states are suing Meta for allegedly designing products that addict teens and worsen their mental health. Attorneys generals from states ranging from California to Wisconsin filed federal lawsuits on Tuesday accusing Meta of intentionally turning kids into social media addicts. The lawsuit claimed that Meta was motivated to keep children hooked in order to boost profits and alleged that Meta routinely collects data on children under 13 without their parents' consent in violation of federal law. Features like infinite scroll and consistent streams of alerts are hooking children and teens contributing to the mental health crisis that now affects many young people. The lawsuit comes after a failed settlement discussions with Meta, according to the Wall Street Journal. Dozens of states are suing Meta, alleging the tech giant has deliberately engineered its social media platforms, Instagram and Facebook, to be addictive to children and teens. Children are particularly susceptible to addictive technologies, and Meta has exploited these vulnerabilities, putting its quest for advertising revenue over the psychological and emotional well-being of young people. The lawsuit claims that the company falsely assured the public that its features were safe and suitable for young users. Its motive is profit. And in seeking to maximize its financial gains, Meta has repeatedly misled the public about the substantial dangers of the social media platforms. In an email statement, Meta said it was disappointed by the route taken by the Attorney General. Of course, they're messing up your profits, exposing you. Meta is determined to provide teens with safe, positive experiences online and have already introduced over 30 tools to support teens and their families, the company said. The issue became front and center in 2021 when Meta employee turned whistleblower Frances Hagun, Hagen, H-A-U-G-E-N, shared documents from internal company research in an interview with CBS News. Scott Pelley and Hagen Noted data indicating Instagram worsens suicidal thoughts and eating disorders for certain teenage girls. Privacy concerns surrounding the handling of children's personal information have also led to large fines against social media companies. Google-owned YouTube paid $170 million to settle government and state claims that it allegedly took data from users under 13. This one reason why I don't be on YouTube and social media like that. It's bad for your health, it's bad for the children. So if you a child, you young, you seeing this, limit your screen time. If you an adult and you got children, don't let them be on the screen or limit their screen time. This is stuff be crazy. I have children. I don't be Letting them become addicted to all this nonsense. It just makes us dumber, weaker, more susceptible. And, uh, you know, I'd be praying for our children out there. Because Meta and these big wig companies, they don't care about our health. They don't care about our mental health, our physical health, our well-being. Any diseases that we may um, have or, or consume because of this. Um, you know, they're, they're in it for the profits, the, the ad revenue. The um, you know all, all, all the money and and, and and stuff that they be uh, they be collecting they, they collecting our data that's what it is we the product when something is free like Facebook and Instagram that's because they collecting our data and they selling it that's why you get all these weird uh, emails and phone calls and you could be talking to your boy about a. Uh, Xbox or 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 some uh, state you want to go to a country you want to visit and it's gonna pop up on your Instagram ads your Facebook ads your Yahoo ads your Google ads because they listening they're recording and they're collecting data they're mining it and make no mistake you are the product 
Peace, love, blessings. I'll catch you on the next one. Much gratitude.